Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me. And yes, I am alive. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I've been uh, ill for the best part of the last couple of weeks, and just haven't really been up for uh, getting on the YouTube's and Instagram and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, uh, it's. I, I did receive a few packages in that time period. The latest being this one from Sci-Fi, who I'm sure most of you already know. If you don't. Uh, I'll leave a a link in the description to his channel. So um, I uh, 3D printed a couple of 16 scale gonk droids and sent them up to Sci-Fi, and he very generously offered to well, he painted both of them, but paint me one and then send it back down. I have seen a picture of this on Instagram, but uh, yeah, have a look at that. How cool is that? One custom painted 16 scale conk droid, power droid, whatever you want to call them. That looks great. I love the uh, the matte finish on the uh, the body. Bit of gloss on the uh, the legs there. So this is what uh, it originally looked like. It's grey plastic. That's how they uh, look when they come off the uh, 3D printer. So you can see big difference. That looks so cool. Bit of gloss paint on the face as well. And of course the uh, grimy weathering. That looks awesome. Thank you Simon. That looks absolutely brilliant. And bam, there you go. Straight onto the uh, a New Hope six inch shelf there. As you can see, uh, fits right in. There's a, a few more 3D printed items there. But uh, what I'm gonna do, Simon, is uh, I will send you the links uh, via Instagram uh, to some websites where I download the 3D models. So you can search them. If you find anything else that you'd like, I know you want a moisture evaporator, I'm still working on that find anything else you want on those websites let me know and I'll uh, print them off for you all right on to the next package which is three figures from a wave 21 of the black series now I've had some uh, people ask some Aussie collectors ask me if I can uh, source these for them uh, via outer and collectibles but unfortunately my supplier uh, has sold out of them and that is it I cannot uh, get any more through the supplier so uh, I pre-ordered these from a store in the US, uh, I don't know, four or five months ago. Something like that, I can't remember now, it was a long time ago. I didn't think they were ever arrived, but they finally got here. So we have episode one, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Been looking forward to this figure, well all three of these figures for a while. up is Chopper snarky droid Chopper from Rebels looks really nice and also from Rebels we have Ezra as he appeared in season one I can't remember when he changed his look season one and season two I think this is how he looked I'm not sure can't remember very nice all right, let's take a closer look at each one of these figures and I'll give you my thoughts on them. And we'll start off with episode one, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And um, yeah, your standard Black Series box. This packaging is so effing boring. It's been effing boring for a long time now. And uh, you have a look at, compare it to the, the Marvel Legends packaging, which is just absolutely brilliant. This is... Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, I don't know who chooses the packaging style, whether it's Disney or or uh, Hasbro, but change it. There we go. The figure in the tray with his one and only accessory, which is obviously the lightsaber. So I'll have a closer look at this. The camera wants to focus on the lightsaber. Yeah, 
There we go. So uh, the hilt is bent. That's just the way it was packaged. It's been painted quite well. And I think the blade is meant to be removable. It's sort of swiveling. Doesn't want to come out. Don't want to break it. So lightsaber works all right. Now for the figure itself. That's a, uh, I reckon that's a pretty good likeness to uh, a young Ewan McGregor. I've even got his bum chin. I've sculpted that in. I like it. There's his Padawan braid. Ugh. The ponytail. That looks horrible. Yuck! It's a different colour to the rest of his hair, rest of his hair, and it just uh, looks like it's been it's glued in. That looks horrible. Uh, the rest of the figure, your standard sort of uh, plain Jedi robes, belt there, peg hole on the belt for the lightsaber hilt. That works. Um, soft plastic on the lower robe so you can articulate him. I'm not going to go through the articulation. And then his boots, which are made for walking. So, uh, pretty basic figure, but the uh, likeness I think is pretty damn good. So, it's uh, it works for me. And next up we have Ezra Bridger, who is from Rebels, as I mentioned previously. And um, they've, like they've done with the rest of the Rebels characters that have released previously, they've sculpted his uh, likeness in a so-called uh, realistic look, as opposed to an animation type style. And here he is out of the box. So Ezra only comes with two accessories, which is, uh, I guess, it's better than the one that Obi-Wan came with. But um, so he obviously comes with his lightsaber as well, which it looks uh, quite well done. I can't remember the colors on the, the grip, if that's accurate or not. So yeah, the uh, I'm assuming Obi-Wan's uh, lightsaber comes out like the blade comes out like that now from memory the the hilt of Ezra's lightsaber is a blaster as well I think from uh, maybe no, I'm pretty sure um, and he also comes with his Imperial Cadet helmet so this is uh, it's been done quite well the paint looks pretty clean so that looks all good. Here's a close look at this figure as well, and straight off his hair color. I've always thought that Ezra's hair color was black. This is sort of like a, a dark purpley blue type color. So that's interesting. I have to go back and uh, look at the uh, episodes again. Uh, yeah. I, Sculpt looks great, paint looks great. Again, the paint is pretty clean, at least on my version here. Looks nice, there's a lot going on there with the jacket, which as you can see is a soft plastic. And then he's got belts and different armor on his uh, two different legs. Yeah, it looks really nice. I don't know if this is, uh, yeah, it is meant to uh, hook on to the, uh, the hook there. Yep, all right, so that works. Nice. And, of course, I guess I should try his, uh, put the helmet on his noggin. And that works too. That looks cool. 
Very nice. And then last up, we have Chopper, whom not only appeared in Rebels, but appeared in a Rogue One as well. Uh, Chopper had a very brief cameo in uh, on Yavin 4 in Rogue One at the Rebel base. But of course, he he's uh, going to be mostly remembered for for Rebels. Now this guy looks really interesting. The figure looks awesome. Comes with a number of accessories. There's a lot going on here. Uh, so let's start off with this one. That is a center center leg or wheel. Then he has a alternate left left leg to match the right leg. Bit tough getting this guy out. There we go. So it comes with a uh, a rocket blast effect, and this looks really, really cool. Actually, I forgot all about this. That looks really nice. So obviously, it comes in two parts, as you can see there. And it just fits in like that. That looks great. That has been done really, really well. So you can't actually remove the uh, blast effect from the, whatever you want to call it, the jet. That seems to be uh, locked in there. Uh, and here's the chopper without any middle appendages. And it's been done really well, I think. The sculpt looks great. Lots of paint apps going on there. A little bit of weathering. Does that... Is that arm in the middle meant to come out? I don't know. Maybe it's just... It's just been sculpted really well. It looks like uh, it was articulated, but maybe not. Um... The antenna dish on the top is like a softer plastic. Wheels on the bottom, so you can roll them around. The left leg pops off fairly easily, but not too easily. It's not going to fall off. So you can uh, attach the, the matching left leg that matches the right leg. I remember that episode where he... Uh, they go to some station somewhere and he, he finds the uh, his matching leg. Got those arms that pop out of his head. They've been done well. When uh, they're stored away, they uh, they fit in perfectly into his head. I almost forgot they were there. They're not too difficult to get out though. And uh, there you go. Classic chopper look. Okay, so I think that'll just about do it for this video. I'm very grateful that I was able to add these three figures to my personal collection. Uh, I wish I could help out some of you other Aussie collectors, add them to your collections, but uh, can't do it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In place of my usual outro, I will give you a sneak peek at the other two items that I picked up over the last couple of weeks, and they will probably be the subjects of my next videos. May the force be with you.